So you look at the clothes, the Americanization of uh, the culture, right? The commercialization of uh, all of that, right? So filmmakers don't live in a vacuum. They live in a society, right? So they're affected by all of those things that are happening. And as opposed to filmmaking being a passion, it now becomes a job. It now becomes an opportunity for you know, becoming a celebrity, the director is now the big celebrity type of things. And people then start making films for different reasons, right? So I would say that just like in music, where over different eras you'll find people reflecting on different things uh, in their society. Honali Film Maker, that generation here, Guaito. He killed us with a lot of quite a, uh, you know, type of films, right? And then came the rom-com era, right? And then uh, just uh, before that, uh, there was the era where we were making all of the liberation uh, films uh, in uh, South Africa, right? And then we tried to make all of the rainbow films at uh, a particular time. So I think that it's important not to forget where it all started because if we're just going to be producing just outright bubblegum you know you look at the films that are being produced uh, today yellow bone tits and ass skopsky ten donor very limited social relevance right it's outright entertainment and there's nothing wrong with that but i think that as a sign of respect to the generation of Lionel Ngakani, of Frida Okocha, other African men and women who really gave their lives to make sure that we have the opportunities that we do today. I think that we still need a commitment to telling the authentic African story.